like I said, you, when you have a talent, you will never be fired. You will never be fired. So I will encourage a lot of women, even men, why not? Go in there, learn how to braid. It's not hard. It's not difficult. You can learn how to braid. And you will keep yourself busy. Why waiting for your actual job? The one, your dream job that you want, but you will see that the braiding pays more and it gives you more on your table than what you're thinking. So, ladies and gentlemen, or oh, hi everyone, and uh, this is Iwin Chit Chat where we uh, discuss about uh, business ideas with uh, entrepreneurs of African descent. Iwin Marketplace is a platform where you can advertise your business so as to increase your chances of getting found by customers. Contact me if you want to advertise your business. My WhatsApp number is uh, plus one. Three four seven two three five seven five zero nine. Once again, we are with Blessed. Blessed, can you please go ahead and introduce yourself? Thank you very much, uh, Ivan. My name is Blessed Foster, and I'm actually in. Uh, I'm located in Dallas, Texas. I'm a hair braider. I actually the owner of. Uh, I'm the owner of uh, Blessed African Braids. Yeah, wow, that's, that's very nice. I mean, that you have your own business. I always love to talk to people who are running their own business because they usually have a lot of information to, to share, you know. Wow. So what made you uh, go into breeding? Um, breeding is like a passion to me. And I saw it as a career as well. I decided to be the sole proprietor of my own business rather than working to, for people. Though I still work for people, but I decided to have my own place and uh, do a business and be a sole proprietor of what I have. Wow, wow, wow. So you, you have your own business and then you're still giving your service, I mean, in the form of a job, you know. Right, to, correct. To, to companies. Can That's you tell right. us about I mean, what you do to... As, as a full-time job? As a full-time job, I'm actually a scrum master. I'm into IT. That's amazing. Thank you. Wow. How did you come about having your own business? Because I know having a full-time job is very hectic and busy. That's right. Actually, um, I when I came to this country, I before I left from back home because I'm actually from Cameroon, um, basically from the Northwest region in Bengui. So when mm -hmm. I came here, um, since my, my, my documents were still proceeding, they were still in process, I decided to jump into braiding because I had gotten knowledge and how to do it back home. So I decided to start doing something for myself while waiting for my documents to be proceeded. So I became to, I came to realize that I love what I'm doing and I saw it as a passion. I said, why not open my own place? And once that, I was going to school and I was working at, same, at the same time. So I decided to open my place when I was done. That's really, really uh, very smart of you to, you know, have taken advantage of this art because I believe braiding is an art. Not That's right. everybody can actually, you know, twist their finger to make a, a, a beautiful braid like that. That's right. So how did you decide that decided that you want to learn braiding in Cameroon? Why? What pushed you? Because, you know, so many people back home that I usually speak to, you know, they, they're usually looking for something to do and it's hard for them to choose. Yeah, braiding is actually... Um, I can say it's actually like a full-time job if you take it like serious because when I was back home a lot of people break but they don't see it as a talent so when I came here I saw it like something very useful it was something that could put food on my table and it's very very important talent is the best thing you can know how to do jobs you can be fired at any time but you, when you have the talent you can never be fired. So I decided to work hard and work with it. And now I'm, I'm proud to say that 
I can do whatever with my fingers to come up with whatever you want. When you have talent, you can never be fired. That That's made right. me to actually laugh, you know. So, but let's talk in. A, let's talk about the, you know, the arts of braiding. You know, what are the styles out there that are trendy for uh, women? All right. Some of the styles that uh, we have right now is the box braid, the cornrows, the forelocks, even the sewings. We have uh, locks itself. We have twist. We have uh, uh, sister sister locks, which everybody is kind of going into it right now. And I do all that. We do it in our in our place. We do it all. Wow. So where where is your uh, shop located? And I'm actually located in Dallas, Texas. It's Richardson, Texas, in Dallas. Wow. Yeah. So when a client come to you, right? Yes. What are the things that they usually consider before choosing you as a hair braider? Obviously, when they go online, they see the styles that I have done and they see how pretty and beautiful it looks. And more to that, most of my clients are tender-headed. I don't drag their hair. I make sure I take care of their hair. I take off their scarves. I, 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 I like recommend them what to take for their hair to grow healthy. I make sure that my clients have the best hair because I believe a woman's hair is her beauty. I wish I had so many questions when it comes to hair. Actually, being a man <laughs> and having no hair is difficult for me to come up with questions that I, I can ask you, but I'm going to try. I promise That's you that. That's right. <laughs> so, but how long does it take, you know, to do uh, those trendy uh, hairstyles? Is it like they can sit there for two hours and it's done, or how long? Yeah, it doesn't, it really doesn't take long because we are not, it's not just me. I have, uh, I have, my crew that we work with i have people that are working with me that we actually your hair is being done on time and very beautiful as well wow so like if i come for box break yes don't laugh at me i know i don't have hair because you'll be like where's the hair if i come for <laughs> box break right that's right how long would that take yes how long would it take for you to? How long will it um, take for to do a box, box break? break you know? Normally, it takes like three to four hours for us to be done, depending on how long you want it. Because you know, some people like it to be long, like to their butt, to their knee, and stuff. We do it as as long the way you want it. It takes long as much as the way you want it to be. But we are pretty very fast. We are. It's not just me. I have a crew. I have like, we are three of us working. We can work on the same hair. And sometimes I have clients that just want me to work on their hair or others. They don't want client so many people on their hair. So make sure that we work together to make it faster for the clients not to sit long. Wow. So you do, do you do mobile braiding as well? Or people have yeah, to come to obviously your I don't just, I don't just, um, people don't just come to my place for braiding. I actually go to people's places. I travel to other states, to other cities, just to do hair. I don't only do uh, hair for clients. I also do their, the stars when they are going for to shoot up their movies and stuff, uh, singers. I travel to other states to braid their hair. Wow, you must be very good to be able to travel to other states. That means you're killing the game. I really <laughs> like that, you know. But uh, right now, uh, we, we, with COVID-19, I see so many people learning how to braid and, you know, braiding themselves or braiding their children, you know. Yes. Has that been, uh, an, did that create, like, a challenge for, for your business? Actually, it, it did, but um, when the pandemic was really real, but right now, we have picked up because obviously we want our clients to be safe. We want everybody to be safe. And uh, we kept the distance. And right now we are picking up. We make sure that anybody that comes is wearing the mask. We are wearing our gloves. We make sure we wash our hands. We sanitize our hands before we touch a client. That's really good. Thank you. So still with the COVID situation, so many people back home and even in the U.S., uh, out of job right now and they're looking for ideas you know 
yeah. of business ideas that you know they can they can start. I actually spoke with uh, one young lady yesterday in Italy, and where she's located, she's like uh, the only black person or the only African. Yeah. So you know, what kind of advice can you give people on you know choosing a business? Actually, um, I will always tell people, like I said, you, when you have a talent, you will never be fired. You will never be fired. So I will encourage a lot of women, even men, why not? Go in there, learn how to braid. It's not hard. It's not difficult. You can learn how to braid. And you will keep yourself busy. Why waiting for your actual job? The one, your dream job that you want, but you will see that the braiding pays more and it gives you more on your table than what you're thinking. I would advise everybody to go out there, buy a door. If we don't, if we have a kid, try to braid your hair. Just learn it. It's just talent. It just learn how to do it. You, nobody has to come and tell you you have to do this. You just have to keep watch YouTube's. You can even come to me if you want. Anybody that wants to learn how to braid, come and I'll give you the tips. And I'm also open for those who wants to be hired as well. So, one last question before we go. During uh, my uh, last trip to Cameroon, yes, I was talking to some young graduates and I was telling them that they can do catering or they can do braiding and, you know, make some money. But they were saying that stuff like that doesn't pay in Cameroon. Well, what are your views about that? Um, it's just the mindset of the people, but the truth is braiding does pay if you know how to do it very well. I think everybody will be coming to you by the time they see somebody's hair that is well done. Everybody will want to come to you. So I'll encourage them. I will encourage especially the graduates that are there that don't have, have jobs. Go in there and learn how to braid. And by the time you do somebody's hair, somebody else will see it and want to come to you. And that is how you make money. You don't sit. You work. So last message to all your prospects out there, people who are in Dallas and uh, nearby states, you know, that are planning to braid their hair or looking to learn how to braid, what do you have to tell them? Um, I would like to tell them that um, I am actually available at any time. And I, I, will, I will come to you or you come to me. I'm like a mobile braider as well. And uh, there's a discount going now. If they come now, they will have a very good discount. I'm on promotion right now, so everybody just hit me. You go to Awi Market and hit me there, hit me up, and you will get your hair braided. And when you refer somebody, you will have the best discount as well. Wow, thank you so much for your time. And thanks everyone out there who's been uh, watching as well. That's right. And yeah, we're going to end here today. See you guys. All right. Thank you very much, Ari. You're welcome.